What's going on, everybody? It's Chillcoot here. Uh, we're back and we're here with a brand new installment of Hitman 3. Uh, the game just released today, which is January 20th. Uh, we've got the premium pack, which gave us a lot of cool little extras. Uh, we're going to take a look at, at what some of those are. Uh, so for the gameplay footage, uh, for the first while, we're just going to go through and play uh, just the straight missions uh, and try to complete those objectives. And then once we're done with that, we will go through in subsequent videos and we'll do all the little side missions, try to get the fancy kills and stuff like that. But for right now, we're just going to go through and do the main storyline and, and try to knock that out. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification. And uh, without further ado, let's get going. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows, behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again, 
We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. All right. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Welcome. I thank you. Let's see, where's our targets? There they are, right there. All right. Get a lay of the land. <clears throat> what do we got? A cumulus. Sky is the limit. By Lucy Phillips. All right. What's this? Information terminal. Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Okay. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. All right, listen, I want to talk to the... Oh, that's just a repeat of what he just said. All right. We'll keep moving on then. All right, looks bad. Like we Not need to get down all. there, infiltrate the staff area. Okay. Don't be afraid to take the installation in at your own pace. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Are these supposed to be clouds? Hmm. 
of my I mean, if this was a professional gallery, Ooh, there's one of our guys. Will be closed. Everything has to be perfect. Now get the sun fixed. Oh, you again. We are doing our best. That's what you keep saying. Just get it fixed. How hard can that be? You still have my number, right? Uh-huh. I still have your number, sir. Well, that's one thing you've got right. Ooh. Get it fixed and call me, but I will be back to check. Shots fired. Okay. Uh, infiltrate the staff area. Oh, this looks like a staff area to me. Right? Ooh, hello. We're gonna need a uniform. Probably just do that because we can see around corners. All right, it looks like she walks back and forth. There's a guy outside. We could probably get him. You shoot somebody headed. Bro. How'd you make me do that? Why did you make me do that? Say what? Change this, guys. We can we can recover from this. And dump the body. Hey, look at that! I have no idea what happened here. Everything's all good, my guy. Everything is all good. Yep. No idea what happened. Okay. It's okay. Moving on here. Ah, hi there. What is that? Everything's good. Moving on. Looking good, man. Looking good. Whoa. Don't be checking me out, bro. And pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Uh, this looks like a good area to go. There's quite a bit of security here. Yeah, no kidding. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? I don't like that. What do you mean more fresh air? All right, we gotta keep going downstairs. Hello. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Scan the lock with my camera. Ooh, hello. Aw, oh, shit. Of course, sure. Why not? Yeah, you shouldn't be smoking in here anyway. I'm going to need you guys to take off. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. You too, bud. Take care now. Bye bye then. Ooh, we're going outside the world's tallest building here, folks. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Ooh. That sounds like fun. All right, I 
guess I gotta scan it with my camera again. Dude, I need this camera. The server right. room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Guess this camera doesn't really do anything else. Let's see, what else we got here? I have a feeling from here on out we might just maybe might want to be security at this point. So it looks like we got a security guard up here. I'm thinking we take this guy's uniform because it looks like there's nobody else really around him. I think that's what we're going to do. He's getting ready to move here. There we go. Let's sprint over here. Give him the old chokey chokey. Alright. Get him out of the way here. So we can figure out what we can do with him. Storage. Saw somebody in there. Nope. Camera here. I'm out of the way. What do we got? Ooh, toilet. Here we go. This looks like a promising place. Go ahead and take that disguise. Dude, you might want to consider shaving your back. Just a thought. Alright. Dump him in here. Alright. We looking pretty snazzy now, my guy. Raspberry Beret. I just went there. All right. We are Gucci now, my guys. Uh, let's take a look around, see what we can do. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe in the security room. Still in the yeah, safe and secure. Ooh, Six, security nine, room. Two, seven. It's nine two seven, huh? To shoot. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. Good. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, have a good shift tomorrow. Right. Talk to you later. Bye. What is that penthouse key card? That's something I need, right? Ooh, we got a sleepy sleepy in the corner with a banana. And looks like this is our guy right here. Uh, uh, six, nine, two, seven. Right? Yeah, that sounds right. Maybe. I hope this is it. Hey, look at that. Don't mind me. How's it going, my guy? Um... All right, I think I've seen enough in here. Uh, what do we got down here? Let's see what? We know where the we know where the server room is. We saw the sign on the way in. See, if you ever get lost, there's these things called signs. They point you in the direction in which you need to go. Server room to the left. Here we go. Ooh, server room. Uh, hello? How are you? Don't mind me. There's a guy doing some things. Ooh, what's this? Editorial key. I think that might come in handy at some point. Um. Give this guy the little chokey chokey. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Because if we're going to be doing stuff in the server room, we don't want him going like, hey, what are you doing? A little body dump action here. Very nice. Very nice. Right. Doesn't appear to be anybody in there. Any cameras or anything? Does not look like there's any cameras. Hmm. Got 
two doors here. Hey, it's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I'm changing my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I got Whoa. blood on my hands. I've never taken things to such an extreme before. Exploding golf ball. Anger management. I know I have issues. Admit it. That's the first step, right? Anyway, I've locked the golf ball up in the maintenance scrub. Not that many of us have keys, and people tend to stay out of that room anyways. So no one will get hurt. Maintenance scrub. Where is that at? Alright, we're not we're not here for that. All right, let's go back out here. Close the door. Hello, beautiful lady. Uh, let's give it a shot, shall we? Hmm, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Uh, okay. Do I just pull any terminal? Sabotage. 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 Uh, okay, I guess we just pull one. Hopefully it's the right one. Uh oh. Damn it. A silent Son of a bitch. Door Security locked. is on its way. Hide 47. Door locked. Oh, that key doesn't work here. All right. Okay, well, we're going to hide. Hopefully they don't come in that door. What do we got? What do we got? Who's come? Here we go. Here we go. Here comes Rambo. Don't mind me. Here, minding my own business. Dude, look at those shades, though, man. They tell me I don't look good. Are you just gonna stand here the whole time? I mean, what's the what's the plan here? Oh, we got another Joe Schmo coming in the door. Dude, he's got the stun of shades as well, man. Looking good, my guy. Everything looks just fine. Oh, damn, my T guys and their stupid equipment. I'm sick of coming down here. Cool story. System online. Right? Yes. Sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? How about not? Uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Okay. Uh, ooh, I, I wonder if it's the lady that has the... Ex nope, it's the dude. Exploding golf ball lady is not the one. Yeah, this dust just gets everywhere. So you're my guy, all right? Got around. Ooh, look at the convenience of a hidden cabinet right there. We'll just wait for uh, her to finish what she's doing. We'll just pretend like we're we're looking at the show. Oh, hello everyone. And me. I wear the raspberry beret. You'd be able to trust me. I don't like how close she is. Alright, she's walking away. My guy, come over here. Ooh, 
Ooh, there we go. Server room key card. Got it. You intel. What do we got? Server room key card. A key card which can activate the manual override in the server room. Uh, VIP evacuation card. A card used for triggering the VIP evacuation protocol. Art crew. Marcus is unhappy about the sun's lack of oomph. He has instructed someone from the art crew to give him a call once they have fixed the sun. We're not too concerned with that right now. All right. Golf ball lady is unaware of what our activities are. Let's go back to the server room here. Oh, I am. Whoa. Funny how that one comes up now. If only we had known that in the beginning. All right. Insert key card. Please don't alarm. Have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Uh, can I see anything different in the room? Oh, I still see one, two, three, four servers. Nothing's popped up out of the floor. Uh, we managed to lock ourselves in the room. It's not good. We access the terminal. All right, this terminal's still locked. So what is different? Um, well, that monitor, these monitors. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Monitoring server disabled versus whatever the hell this gibberish is. I guess we try this one. Hopefully this doesn't alarm. Good. We're oh, we in. did it. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Okay. Uh, rearrange meeting. Good work. The meeting hell has yes. been booked. The partners Let's should just be do everything here shortly. Just because I love it. Disable cameras. We don't it need no like stinking cameras. the lounge can cameras. be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Ooh, Building look at that. cameras are now disabled. Dude, how Excellent. badass would that be? I see the partners moving. You should join You're at a hotel. A vending machine just distributes 47. all those gold bars. All right. Time to end this 47. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I guess we'll go this direction. Maybe there's a set of stairs. Uh, meeting room. That's not where we want to go. Set of stairs there, but we have that guard watching over. Ooh, I guess I could choke his. I could choke him out and throw him down the elevator shaft. Nope. We just saw my dude chilling in the corner over there. What else we got? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Don't mind me. Need to panic. Who's panicking? Don't mind me, just uh, going on patrol. Just wanted to make sure that the uh, the flowers are in the vases. There's our guys. One's there. There. Are you on duty tomorrow? Yeah. Why? Just wondered if you got. All right. Suppose we can go this direction. There's no bosses. So for those of you who are, are not familiar with Hitman. Uh, the circles above their heads are the ones that can identify the are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the shot. Now we'll just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown feature. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios ready for us very soon. Which reminds me, we need to discuss Alexa. <laughs> What's there to discuss? I always like to listen. She left us. At the most critical moment, she abandoned ship. 
That family has never been trustworthy, and Alexa just proved to us that she, and indeed any of her heirs, isn't up to the task. I agree. She displayed extremely poor judgment. I hope Omar is able to step up. At this time in particular, we need a solid foundation to rebuild from, and someone to help us hit that traitor Edwards where it hurts. Oh, he'll get what's coming to him. You know, Marcus, my father taught me many things throughout my life. Loyalty, respect, dedication. Edwards has betrayed all of those. I look forward to teaching him the most important thing my father ever taught me. The power of fear. Regardless, once mm. this is over, Madame Carlyle is out. We can't tolerate her abandonment of this project in favor of petty, personal matters. If Sheikh Omar comes through today, we should offer him a seat. All right, I think we've heard enough. Whoa! What's this? A car? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's oh. the meaning of this? You, you are the one responsible for all this. Gray. What do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well... Let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. Oh, with pleasure. 47. Finish it. I don't know why Finally, that guy ran off so quick. And Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. All right. 47. Thank you. Couple body dumps here. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. <clears throat> All right, holster that bad chicken. I'm assuming we just deactivate the same panel that we came in on. Oh, there we go. Look at that, folks. And we've got an exit off to our left. Exit stage left. Mind me, this is really nice. How would you like to live here, man? This must be the exploding golf ball area. All right, so that's going to bring us to the end of episode one. Uh, so far, Hitman never fails to deliver. 
uh, awesome cinematics, awesome graphics, awesome storyline so far. Uh, I'm really excited to get into the next episode and the next mission. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on the next episode. And until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.